Hello and welcome. If you're like me, you may have got the Elegoo Fector 20 or 10 watt and you set it up and now you're looking to update the firmware and you download the firmware and the tool and you may have got this error failed to connect to ESP32 wrong boot mode. Well, I'm here to tell you all you need to do, and I couldn't really find this uh, very directly online for the Elegoo Fector at the time. All you need to do is when you press to um, to run this command to load the firmware, you have to actually press this boot button here when doing the uh, touchscreen. And similarly so, uh, there's no picture here in Elegoo's uh, documentation. You have to press this button, a picture of the um, other control board um, when you're loading it. If you press that, then it will load. At least it did for me. Um, we'll note that I well, did have the Kickstarter version of the um, Elegoo Factor, so maybe this doesn't exist for every Elegoo, but it was for me, and I, I couldn't get it to work, and I, I found something online where we, there, this error happens with control boards, and I, there was mention of like pressing a button, so I just tried pressing buttons, and again, it's just the boot here for the um, for the touch screen, and then the only button you can press on the other control board when you're installing. Um, and that's just a quick summary. Uh, and to just go over this completely, um, if you're about to install your Elegoo Factor firmware, or sorry, update it, um, what you would do, if you don't already know, is you'd come to their website, you go to support, download center, find the laser engraver, uh, firmware update guide is pretty good and straightforward, except for it misses, uh, you know, any mention of, of this uh, solution for this problem. Download that, then you're going to download the firmware update tool, and then you just uh, follow the instructions here, where you, you want to right-click run as administrator the tool, and set the correct, like, um, settings, uh, com and body rate. <clears throat> um, and then again, uh, follow the instructions, but at the point where, as you, you can see, I have this. I'll have this up in the vi video. This is what I did. Yeah, you know, when you plug it in and you run it, just make sure you press the boot button or on the other control board the other button. As you can see here, um, it worked for me. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure uh, if you need to keep pressing it or when to press it exactly. I just kind of pressed it. I clicked the button and then I press the button once and that was good enough so that's that and i was able to update the firmware and hopefully this um uh if you have this problem hopefully this works for you too and hopefully you get to go and enjoy your new laser engraver i've got a couple videos i'm posting about this as i get into laser engraving i have quite a bit of experience with 3d printing and i think a lot of people like me are starting to just uh i guess explore the laser engraving um uh, world and so check out my unboxing of the Elegoo Factor if you want. I also have like a setup with the um, enclosure and maybe more videos to come too. All right. All right. So like and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you.